my first time doing a Top 5 Wednesday video. And so, this is, this is gonna be fun. Let's do this. Hello lovely people, my name's Nicole, and today I'm doing a Top 5 Wednesday video. This week the topic is um, Top 5 Books with Multiple points of view, multiple perspectives. So the first book that I have with multiple, pers multiple perspectives is the Legends series by Mary Lou. This is a fantastic dystopian. This one's really cool because not only does it have multiple perspectives, but each different perspective like actually has a different like font, color, and like style. Half of them are gold and half of them are black and it's like different colors for different books and it's really amazing and the two characters are so different like mentally um, and just seeing like the same events happen from each of their different perspectives is really really cool and I absolutely love this book series. The next book I have is Wonder by RJ Palacio. Um, this is told from like seven or eight different perspectives um, just of all the people who are around the main character. Um, and who interact with him and there's actually a short story that's told from the antagonist's perspective that's also really interesting um but this one is on this list because there are there was one of the perspectives in there that just sort of hit that that magic spot in my heart where i'm just like this is this is me i've gone through the things that this character has gone through and i just started just like bawling Oh, it was rough, but yes, this, oh, because of the multiple perspectives, it allows pretty much anyone who's reading it to be able to find someone who they identify with, and it's kind of amazing. The next book I have should be no surprise to anyone who knows me, and that is the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. Um, shocker, I love Percy Jackson, um, but yeah. This series allows us to get inside the heads of some of the characters that we saw in um, the previous series, and by that I mainly just mean Annabeth, um, and meet new characters, and I, like honestly, 90% of the reason that I count this as one of my favorite books with multiple perspectives is because we get to go inside Annabeth's head. To be quite honest, that's like 90% of the reason I just love Annabeth. Um, and it's so great to be able to see from her perspective and just the way it's formatted and the way that Rick does the different perspectives it's each voice is so different and unique and it really the story could not have been told from just one perspective and there's just something really cool about it. The next book is Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. Um, the thing that's cool about this one is that uh, it's two authors working together, but they didn't, like, collaborate and mix their writing. They just each wrote each different perspective. Um, it's told from two boys, both named Will Grayson, who could not be more different. Uh, John Green and David Levin pretty much just went off. They agreed on a place for them to meet and, like, a time for them to meet. And then they just went off and did their own thing with their own characters and set up each character's world and then had them meet at that location and then figured out how to mesh what's going on in each story afterwards. And it's so well done and it's so funny and it's one of those things where it's so easy to tell, the, to tell who's speaking because of the way it's written and because of the way the characters talk and also just the formatting. Um, one of the Will Graysons uses like no capital letters, relatively bad grammar, and doesn't tend to spell things super great. And it's just the way it's done on a technical level is just really, really cool. And I just generally adore this book. And the number one book I have with multiple perspectives, I expect will probably be on a lot of people's lists. Uh, and that's I'll Give You the Sun by Jenny Nelson. I love this book and the cool thing about it is that not only is it told from different perspectives it's also different timelines um it's told from the points of view of two siblings the sister when when the siblings are 16 and the brother when they are 14 
Um, and it's just, it's so well done, and the writing style is beautiful, and I do prefer Noah's perspective a bit more, just because I find his storyline more interesting, but, oh, that's so beautiful, and the way that it's just, like, woven together, and you learn things at, like, exactly the right time, oh, it's so well done, and it's beautiful, and it's amazing, and everyone should read this book. Alright, so those are my top five books from different perspectives. I hope you enjoyed this. I will leave all the information about Top 5 Wednesdays in the doobly-doo. I love you and I will see you later.